what it is what it do our dysfunctional family coming through with another video for you subscribe yes okay so today's video is actually a shop with me but it is a different kind of shop with me i already have pre-made lists that i've been working on because we are gonna do an extreme budget meal video yes you guys so the objective is going to be to feed each person for ten dollars a week and i'm talking about breakfast lunch dinner uh desserts everything in between so we are a family of seven but even though we are a family of seven i still want to keep it under what it is so instead of trying to spend the 70 dollars for us i want to make it so we have the 126 meals for under 50 dollars so let's see if we can make that happen another thing i wanted to say before we get the video started is i've seen a lot of these videos and to be honest a lot of the food doesn't look very appetizing some of the food looks even you know like is it edible I don't want it to be like that. I want to show you guys that if you just meal plan ahead of time and have a menu, a set menu, that you can do so much. I know it's going to be hard because it's going to be a lot of cooking, but I know it's going to be delicious. I don't want you guys to think that just because you're on a budget that it has to be garbage. So I'm going to show you how I prepped to make this challenge appetizing. First things first, I started with a list of ideas of what I would make for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then from there, I build a menu of what I, th I thought would be a good fit for us to eat. So now that I have a menu, I made a grocery list of everything that I would need to buy in order to make that happen. After I made the grocery list, I went to my best friends the ads you guys because there are so many sales walmart is cheap and so is winko and aldi's but some of the time you can find even better deals at these mexican grocery stores on certain days so i started digging through the ads to see if there was anything that i could use in any of these ads to buy the ingredients off my list then i made a list by store and where i could find it more affordable for a better price so on my grocery store list i have winco i have walmart sam's club and super and vons and we are off we are at it's super and here we already checked the ad and we know we're gonna get a better price on the veggies that we need so here we are See, the lines are a little more expensive, but we don't need a lot, so that's fine. We need tomatoes, cilantro, onions, jalapenos, and garlic. Okay, so I got the cilantro. Next, I'm gonna look for the tomatoes and the onions. Saw the tomatoes right here. And you know what? The, the tomatoes are actually cheaper at the neighborhood Walmart, so I'm not gonna get them here either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were like 50 cents a pound, so. We're not doing the tomatoes. Let me check on the onions and see. And these were cheaper yesterday, you guys. They were five for a dollar, four for a dollar, something like that. Okay, these are two for a dollar. The white is four for a dollar. So that's four pounds. So we're gonna do the four pounds for a dollar. Okay, so let's try and get as close as we can to the four pounds. Four or five. Four. five. So that's almost four and a half pounds. Um, yeah, yeah, you can take it out. Okay, so let's do, let's see the jalapenos and the garlic. Okay, serranos are 79 cents, jalapenos are two for dollar. So we're gonna take some jalapenos. Now, let's see where the garlic is. Yes, and it says 99 cents. But it's a lot of them. It's. I probably don't need five, so let's see if they sell it loose. No. Nope. But this one does look fresher. 
eight servings, one tortilla. So boom. This is way cheaper. We're gonna get the tortillas for the burritos here. Okay, so this is actually a better deal because it's 10 tortillas less, but it's 50 cents less also. Look at this Mexican bread. It's freaking huge. Okay, so I was wondering why I was wondering why it was so much and I realized that they charge just three dollars for the flour tortillas instead of a dollar nineteen, but I really don't want to go in there and make a fuss. Like I just wanna go and hit the rest of the stuff up. So that put a little dent in our budget, but we are still good. Okay, so we are at Walmart and now we are gonna get the things that I need off the list here. So this is what I have to buy here. So here I gotta get the maseca, pasta, uh, chorizo, eggs, bread, jelly, mixed veggie, and tomatoes. But I saw the tomatoes and they are 98 cents, which is expensive. So I'm gonna wait on the tomatoes because I know I could get a better price. Mixed veggies are right here. Okay, so I think that the mixed veggies I was gonna get for the casserole, but instead of getting mixed, I'm just gonna get the broccoli. I think it would be good with the chicken casserole. So, I'm gonna do that. Let's go and get the rest of the stuff. I'm pretty sure the maseca is here. Hopefully they have. They do. Okay, so, let me get this one. Make sure it doesn't have holes in it. Okay, so now we need pasta. And, hmm. I wonder if there's any difference in this one as to that one. This is the brand, so I'm just gonna take that one this time. But, okay, let me see. Okay, so I need two pastas. What I can do, I'll just do elbows. Yeah, I'll do two elbows. Okay, so I got the maseca, the pasta. I need the pasta, I need the chorizo, eggs, bread. So let's go get the chorizo. Yeah, you have a sky one, huh? Okay, and here we go. This chorizo is 97 cents. So that's the one I'm gonna get. And I like the beef one. Okay, so let's see. The eggs are actually right here. So let's see how much they are. And this is a good price. So now we're looking for the jelly. So hopefully they have something that's under... I mean, I was hoping to find something that was a dollar, but maybe as long as it stays under two dollars, maybe it'll be fine. So the cheapest one is like one ninety something. So comment down below how much the jelly or the jam is where you guys are. One ninety eight for Welch's. I almost want to take that one because it's like if I'm gonna pay top dollar, might as well be for name brand, right? Okay, so the strawberry one is 196 and this one is 198 I'm just gonna go with the Smuckers. So, now we just need the bread. Let's go, let's go this way. Okay, so they do have the bread and it's 84 cents. So we're gonna take two of these. Come on guys, put two of these in. One, two. Okay, and we are done with the list. Okay, you guys, so we are at Winco now, and this is a list of the things that we have to buy. We have to get potatoes, top ramen, chocolate chips, evaporated milk, condensed milk, potato, pato sauce, tomato sauces, and cream of chicken. So, let's get this party started. So, Winco always does have really, really good competitive prices. I have to switch up my buggy because alcohol, I always get the janky ones. I don't know about you guys. But anyways, so here we go. Let's see what they have. Okay, so when you first walk in, the first thing you see is things that are on ad. And then you see the fresh produce. So I'm going to start with my fresh produce, which is the potatoes. So last time I was here, I did see the potatoes and I priced it. They have the big 10 or 20 pound sack which is what we want to get. Okay, so see the five pound bag, it's 198. 10 pound bag is 298. So 
this is what we're gonna get. Quick tip, quick tip with potatoes, I always do suggest for you to actually feel the potatoes because sometimes you can get a bag that has a lot of soft ones and that means that they are spoiled, so you don't want those. So next on my lip list is the Top Ramen and I know exactly where that is. We're gonna head that way. Oh, you know what, now before we do, I wanted to check on Aroma Tomatoes because that is one thing that has been expensive everywhere. So vine ripe tomatoes are 128. Uh, let me see. Looks like oh here we go. Roma tomatoes 98 cents. So I guess that's just the price they are. Huh. They've been 98 cents everywhere. Okay, so. So I'm gonna go get the noodles. So the noodles are in here. And I am looking for the top ramen. So I'm gonna look for the top ramen and it says I need 10. So I'm gonna get 10 of the, what should I get? Should I get chicken or beef? Chicken or beef? I'm gonna get chicken. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, next is taco chips, evaporated milk. Okay, so truth be told, I have more than a stockpile on evaporated milk and condensed milk. So I'm gonna price them here but I'm gonna use the ones that I have at home just so I don't have to buy things that I already have a surplus of. I also need a cream of chicken. Knock that off the list. And then, let's get um, one more over. Oh wait, I do need a pot of sauce, excuse me. I don't have pato sauce at home. And here we go. It is 64 cents here. And usually I can get the big cans like this at the Dollar Tree for Dollar, but I really only need one of these. Okay. Let's go to the bacon aisle. Yes. And here we go. Okay, so I had priced these last time I was here, and I'm gonna take these milk chocolate chips because I can make cookies with these, but also for pancakes or just goodies. So, and it's a really good price, it's $1.74. Okay, then the sweetened condensed milk is $1.76, that's pretty cheap. And then the evaporated milk is 94 cents. So, we're pricing them here, but we're using them from home. Okay, so got my potatoes, my top ramen, chocolate chips, my evaporated milk, my condensed milk. I got my pato sauce. Oh, we need three tomato sauces. How did I miss that? Uh, you know what? I have a surplus of those at home too. And the cream of chicken, okay. getting ready to check out and then our last stop will be uh no we'll go aldi's then albertson's or vons for the cheese okay you guys so we are well i am at vons and so from here i'm going to get the cheese and lettuce and then i'll be done with my list yeah so the cheese is on special I'm gonna see if they have a little buggy, like the little itty bitty one. Hi, can I just, do you yeah. have the smaller ones or are they all the same size? No, no, they're all the oh, same size. Awesome, thank yes. you. Thought yeah. you had like the tiny ones. <laughs> okay, so the cheese is on ad right now. And it's like five five and get them for like $1.99 or something like that. Look at that. 
Oh, you could smell them. It smells beautiful in here. Look at all the flowers. I love it. Oh, look at that. They, they got the clearance. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't seem like much of a clearance to me. I think I'm just cheap, you guys, because... Hmm. 39 cents? Yeah, no. 39 cents? No. You get this for like a dollar or something at Walmart. Yeah. We're on a budget, so... Oops. It says 159, but it does look a lot bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. This is a discount card. I'll probably get a little bit off of this, so and we'll be set. <laughs> 